Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we're gonna do something fun, something interesting. We're gonna talk about, and we're gonna take a look at what would happen if Nexilla, Rubio Mosquera, showed up at an Italy Pro and went against Hunter Labrada. If he brought basically the same package from Dubai Pro, who would win? What would happen? Now, both of these guys, I have to say, neither of them actually brought their best to either of these two shows. Though I gotta give the posing routine to Hunter Labrad because he wasn't twerking, he wasn't dancing on that stage, and that does it for me. But as far as conditioning, you know, neither of them were at their 100%, not even close. I would say Exila was maybe at like 70%, and Hunter was at like 80, maybe 85, you're gonna see more clearly in a higher quality photos, but in these two videos, they actually both look in decent shape, however, that wasn't exactly the case. So let's go pose by pose, let's analyze these two bodybuilders at these two versions of them, and let's see who would have won in this mashup right here. Now, first pose, of course, is gonna be the front double bicep, I hope I got the ratio right, I think these guys are similar height, and obviously Nexilla is bigger, but not that much bigger, I mean, he was a lot heavier here, but like, Hunter also has a ton of muscle, I don't know what his weight was exactly, but I believe it was like 250s, and Nexilla, from what I heard, he was like around 300 pounds, so that's a huge difference actually, but it doesn't really look like that big of a difference, really, if you are this height and you're 250, you're pretty much maxed out, everything above that is, I don't know if it's even helping you, really. So Nexilla, as you can see, like his legs are super crazy massive, but Hunter's legs are also very, very good. Now, as far as like the waist size, Hunter's waist is obviously a lot smaller, but because of that, I don't know if it is hernia or whatever is going on in the lower belly area, it's really distracting, it's really taking away from his aesthetics. He does have a better shape, he does have better aesthetics. And he would be superior in this department back in, let's say, 2021, before he had these uh, midsection issues. But now, with his uh, stomach looking like this, next to Nexilla, I mean, Nexilla also has a hernia, umbilical hernia in his uh, uh, belly button, but it's a small one, and like overall, his midsection is actually, you know, nice. It would look even better if he was leaner, but the way it is right here, compared to Hunter's, yeah, I think definitely Nexilla's midsection is better. Now, as far as, like, the arms, you know, Nexilla in the front double bicep, his arms don't look very good. His chest, however, is thicker, it's fuller, Hunter's was a little bit flat, and he has that back tear. So, overall, Nexilla has a cleaner look, but he doesn't have a better shape. Size-wise, honestly, I think these guys are close. Hunter's conditioning is a little bit better so this pose, very, very close, I, I really can't decide who wins this one. Both guys have certain flaws and certain advantages, so I'll call this one a tie. Now let's go with the second most important pose, basically back double bicep, and this one is interesting, this is where it becomes very, very interesting, so let's go with uh, bottom up, lower body. Both of these guys have crazy calves, by the way. Hunter's calves are also massive and Exilla's are for sure. Now, as far as the legs, Hunter's legs from the front are actually looking very good, but like from the back, you can see, you can see the big difference here. Like the, the gap between the legs, it's much smaller on Nexilla. Here you can clearly notice the size difference in the legs. Nexilla's legs are actually much, much bigger. Hunter's quads and like adductors are very good from the front, and because of all the details, his legs appear to be just as big you know, as, as Nexilla's almost, but like from behind, he can hide like the, the, the size, the silhouette, you can see just the, the, the size discrepancy, it's, it's huge. Now, as far as the conditioning in the glutes and the hamstrings, yeah, Hunter is more conditioned, for sure, like I said, like 10-15% more, but he's actually also surprisingly soft, right? Nexilla's conditioning was bad, like it wasn't close to being ready. And Hunter, you know, he was, like, right on the edge of being out of shape. He had enough lines, like, he was dry enough, lean enough. But it wasn't a big difference, honestly, in conditioning here. Now, as far as the back itself, I mean, Hunter's back double bicep was basically his weakest pose, but it came up. It actually came up, it actually looks much, much better now than before. And honestly, it just flows better than Exila's back. Like, it's more complete. 
you know the traps are thicker there are more details the lower back is like drier more separated you can see like thinner skin but size wise if you're talking about the lats Exila definitely has bigger lats they're definitely popping out a lot more there is just a lot more muscle there but that's about it it's just the lats like, yeah, Nexila has uh, high traps, you know, like crazy big traps and neck, but like lower traps, rhomboids, that part, like the center part of the back, it's not as thick as Hunter's or detailed. Uh, and like shoulders, arms, also Hunter has better details. But then the lower body size is also very, very noticeable, but Hunter is overall more conditioned, so I guess he would win this one, but it would be very close. And again, this is if Rubiel showed up as he planned, at a Italy Pro, and if he didn't change anything about his conditioning from Dubai Pro. I'm sure if he really decided to do it, and if he was truly committed, and if he was a serious bodybuilder, he could have came much more conditioned. He definitely could have improved that conditioning. If that was the case, I don't know who would have won this pose, but as of right now, I don't know. It's also very close, but let's give this one to Hunter. All right, next up, we got Absent Eyes, and both of these guys hit the same variation. Now, as you can see, like, in the legs, neither of them were conditioned enough. Like, Nixilla basically showed zero cross none. You can see some vascularity, and you can see some separation between the quadriceps heads, but, like, it, it wasn't lean, like, it wasn't shredded, not even close. Hunter was better, for sure, but, like, also, he needs to get much, much leaner for the Mr. Olympia. This is not even close to his best. So, legs, I mean, here you can see exactly what I was, what I was telling before, like, uh, the, from the front and, like, from this angle as well, Hunter, Hunter's legs are looking massive, right? Like, he has this, this certain shape of his quad, he also knows how to pose with the legs, to flex them the best way possible, so he's definitely matching uh, Nexilla in the leg department, and he has more details, more, more better conditioning. Now, as far as, like, the chest, it's close, arms... Very close also, shoulders, I think maybe Hunter is even better in that department as well, shoulders, arms, even lats, like there are more details, but I just can't bring myself to give this one to Hunter because of his midsection. If he didn't have this this bulge in his lower belly area and that, uh, I don't know what it is, that bump on his upper abs, if his abs looked better, this is abs and thighs after all. So if his abs looked better, I would definitely give it to him, but because of the abs, because of the look of the midsection, the aesthetics of his stomach, I just can't bring myself to do that. I give this one to Nexilla. Midsection is something Hunter definitely needs to work on the hardest for the Mr. Olympia. Yeah, conditioning needs to improve. He's going to do that without a doubt, but he needs to do something about those abs. I don't know what he can do. Now, as far as the side chest, I couldn't find a better pose, a better photo of Hunter. He didn't hit this pose in his posing routine for some reason. But in this case, like with Hunter's size of the shoulders and Exila's like lack of the of the delt mass, I don't know. I think Hunter is flowing better. But this pose, like this photo is not very high quality, so I can't really make an accurate assessment. The next pose is back lat spread. And here, Exila's conditioning in the glutes and hamstrings actually looks pretty much the same like it did in the back double bicep. But Hunter, for some reason... You can see it more clearly that he was, like, very off with conditioning uh, in his lower body from behind. And, like, the upper body as well. Like For some reason, in the back lat spread. And there are, like, five or six photos on the, on the website. I tried to pick the best one, and this is actually the best one. So even though he flexed the hamstrings and the glutes, this is as conditioned as it gets. And this way, he won't even crack the top six of the Mr. Olympia. So he needs to improve the conditioning. But as far as Nexilla here... I mean, conditioning, honestly, lower body, upper body, almost the same, really. Like, the back here looks very smooth, the glutes as well. He has more details in the hamstrings, I'll give him that. But I don't even know if that's because of conditioning or simply because, like, he has, like, maybe more muscle there, maybe better muscle maturity. I don't know what it is, but, like, that's the only thing he has uh, going on here better than Exila. You know, maybe he's wider through the shoulders, but Nexilla has, like, lower inserted lats. And uh, maybe Hunter has better proportion, like, lower body to upper body ratio. But, you know, Nexilla's lower body is just so massive, and the, the upper body is also kind of matching. The back is also big. 
So overall, I mean, this one is very close. Again, neither of these guys are looking very good in this pose, but I'll go with Nexilla in this one. And we come to the most muscular pose, and Nexilla, for some reason, the way he was hitting it at Dubai Pro, this variation, this version of his most muscular, didn't look good at all. I think he was doing it much, much better back when he was competing at Prague Pro with his feet closer together. He was doing something different with his upper body as well. The way he was doing it here, it just looked really bad. Like, it, it really showed how bad his structure was. And Hunter is killing him in this pose. He's definitely destroying him. Like, he's more detailed, especially through the chest, through the shoulders, through the legs. And he's hiding his midsection with his arms, with his hands here. So you can't really see that it messed up uh, stomach. So, yeah, the way his body flows, the way his conditioning is, yeah, Hunter wins this one. Now, this is all assuming that Nexilla would show up with the same conditioning from Dubai Pro. He pulled out of that show because his conditioning was actually worse than Dubai Pro. So if he showed up, he would be even worse than this. But if he worked, seriously... And if he improved conditioning for, let's say, 10%, maybe he would beat Hunter and win this show. But this way, no, I don't see it. I think Hunter would still end up victorious, and he would go to the Mr. Olympia instead of Nexilla. But as far as Hunter, you know, cracking that top 6 or top 5 even, you know, for top 6, he needs to improve the conditioning quite a lot and learn how to control the stomach a little bit better. But if his stomach was, like, perfect... If he didn't have these flaws, then I would see him even in top 5. But I doubt that's fixable, at least in these uh, four and a half weeks. We'll see what he can do. As far as this matchup, I still believe Hunter would win. But in the future, next year, if Nexilla pulls it together, finally, and comes in conditioned, and takes bodybuilding actually seriously for once, maybe he can surpass Hunter, even next year, already. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to show me some love, you can buy some hostile supplements and use my code EVEN10. If you're buying them already, you can just switch to my code if you like. And if you're not buying them, you should try them. If you're a serious bodybuilder, I mean, if you're on this channel, I'm assuming you are very serious about bodybuilding, you should invest in quality. And hostile supplements are very high quality. So guys, once again, code EVEN for 10% discount. Thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down below whatever your thoughts are. All the best, guys. See you soon and bye-bye.